वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला नासिक टूडे शर्निंग दिस कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग एंड टॉपिक इज पॉलिनोमल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द शेप फंक्शन इन लास्ट सेशन we have discussed the polynomial derivatives for linear bar element quadratic bar element three noded element and four noded rectangular element now in this session we are discussing polynomial derivatives for the beam element and summary of all the shape functions for all the element that we have studied during the computer aided engineering so the polynomial derivative of the beam element we seen that beam is the structural member used to sustain or overcome the loads the beam is shown on the figure the left side with the certain deformation the beams are classified into fixed peak beam fixed free beam or simply supported beam now consider the example of cantilever beam is fixed at one end and free to move at other end it is loaded by a certain load at the center while the bending moment m at the free end the beam is allow to displace in the direction of x now seen now in the left side figure beam section with deformation once the beam because of loading it is deformed the change of cross section occurs it is shown at the middle edge and the deformed shape of the beam is shown below the beam now seen now when the beam is loaded in axial deformation you can consider that when the truss or rod goes in any axial deformation we assume the entire cross section area as same displacement when bar element just have two nodes and a line element in case of beam then a Two degrees of freedom associated with <coughs> one node, as compared to Euler's beam theory. So, the two nodes with line element is known as beam element. The each node one shows two degrees of freedom. One is translational displacement, another is the angular displacement or rotation, rotational. And similarly, at node two. there is translational as well as rotational then vi and vj are the translational displacements for theta and theta j theta j are the rotational displacements when the beam is bending we are considering a eulers bernoulli's beam theory eulers bernoulli's beam theory let v is equal to transverse deflection at any point in the beam therefore theta is equal to derivative of v dv by dx it is also known as slope of the deflection therefore the polynomial can be written as v of x is equal to 30 plus c1x plus c2x square plus c3x cube write it as equation 1 now differentiate with respect to n So we will get theta is equal to dv by dx is equal to c1 plus 2 times c2 into a plus 3 times c3 into x square. Let it as equation number two. Now putting the boundary condition at x is equal to zero, theta i is equal to c1 and v i is equal to c zero. When at x is equal to n, theta j is equal to c1 plus 2 times c2 l 
plus 3 times c3 as square and vj is equal to c0 plus c1l plus c2l square plus c3l cube. Solving these equations for c0, c1, c2 and c3 in terms of vi, theta i, vj and theta j, we will get V of x is equal to in bracket 1 minus 3x square upon l square plus 2x cube upon l cube into vi plus in bracket x minus 2x square upon l plus x cube upon l square theta i plus in bracket 3x square upon l square minus 2x cube upon l cube into vj plus in bracket minus x square upon l plus x cube upon l square into theta j. Therefore, comparing this equation with our displacement equation, v of x is equal to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 plus m3 u3 plus m4 u4, we can find that m1 is equal to 1 minus 3x square upon l square plus 2x cube upon l cube m2 is equal to x minus 2x square upon l plus x cube upon l square m3 is equal to 3x square upon l square minus 2x cube upon l cube and m4 is equal to minus x square upon l plus x cube upon l square therefore we can write v of x in matrix form and v of x is equal to in matrix n1, n2, n3, n4 into vi, theta i Vj theta j. Now a summary of all the shape functions for all elements. Yes, then there are the figures of four columns. In first column, elements and their shape is given. Second column shape functions in natural coordinate is given. In third column, polynomial function is given, and fourth column shape functions in local coordinate is given. Net element 1, 2 noded 1 dimensional bar element. It is represented by line element having 2 nodes. The shape functions in natural coordinate systems are n1 is equal to 1 minus epsilon by 2, n2 is equal to 1 plus epsilon by 2. The polynomial function for this linear uh, element is e of x is equal to c0 plus c1x. And the shape functions in local coordinate is n1 is equal to 1 minus x upon l and n2 is equal to x upon l. Similarly, 3 noded quadratic bar element having 2 line elements with 3 nodes. The polynomial function for such element is e of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square. The shape functions are n1 is equal to 1 minus x square upon l square and 2 is equal to 4xy l minus 4x square upon l square and n3 is equal to 2x square upon l square minus x upon l. The third element is 3 noted constant strength triangular CST element. It is denoted by triangular shape having 3 nodes. The shape functions in natural coordinates are n1 is equal to epsilon, n2 is equal to nita, n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus nita. And the considered polynomial function are u of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2y and the shape functions in local coordinate systems are given by ni is equal to 1 upon 2 times delta in bracket alpha i plus beta i times x plus gamma i times y. Similarly, in front element 4 noted the uh, quadrilateral element 1, 2, 3, 4, point having 4 nodes with quadrilateral the shape functions in natural coordinate system is given by n1 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon into 1 minus beta n2 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 plus epsilon into 1 minus beta n3 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon 1 plus beta and 4 is equal to 1 by 4 times 1 minus epsilon 1 plus beta while the 
four noded rectangular element is shown in figure and the shape polynomial function for four noded rectangular element is u of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2y plus c3xy. The shape functions are n1 is equal to 1 minus x by l minus y by l plus xy upon lh n2 is equal to x by l minus xy upon lh n3 is equal to xy upon lh n4 is equal to y by h minus xy upon lh the beam element is shown in the figure having line element with two degrees of freedom per node the polynomial function for beam element is u of x is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus c3x cube and the shape functions in local coordinates are n1 is equal to 1 minus 3x square upon l square plus 2x cube upon l cube n2 is equal to x minus 2x square upon l square plus x cube upon l cube n3 is equal to 3x square upon l square minus 2x cube upon l cube and n4 is equal to minus x square upon l minus x cube upon l square Okay friends, this is about the polynomial derivatives of the beam element and the summary of all the elements having shape functions in terms of natural coordinate system, their polynomial derivatives and the shape functions in their local coordinate systems. Thank you.